to do a better job of limiting the Boston Celtics three-point attack. You can't expect the Celtics to go six for 23 again on open threes. If that gap is small, it became infinitely smaller with the injury to Kristaps Porzingis. Okay. They'll miss his rim protection. They'll miss the spacing his shooting provides. And what a start for... Mavericks have not dropped two in a row all pre all postseason as Doncic rattles in a three. And I would say at least for the... You're trying to take away Kyrie Irving's easy baskets, and you're trying to keep Luka Doncic inside the three-point line. Derek Jones... On, and Gafford go tumbling, fighting for position. Doncic using his strength and banks it in. Joe Mazzulla wasting no time. In a place. I was told the recovery time, generally around six to eight weeks, could require surgery. The Celtics are calling Porzingis day to day. To Cornette, who has spent some time at the backup when KP's been out. Oh, nice play from Irving on a one for five. Inbound, there's the alley oop lob. And this is the largest lead of the final. So. Doncic with some good defense. He struggled defensively in game two. Holiday a step back. That's good. It's just as you would expect, a desperate Dallas team coming out, perhaps spurred on by the crowd. Doncic, nope, they wave it off. A foul on Boston. Well, they say before the upward motion as the primary defender, but that's a mismatch. Kyrie Irving in space against Horford. Doncic creating some space. Mavericks. Hardy checks in for the Mavericks. Lively gets the pass, goes up, shot blocked. Still goes in. Toman got a piece of it. Lively stuck with Kristaps Porzingis. That paint feels drastically different for the Dallas Mavericks. 13-point lead. Tatum. Gets that to go. A three-pointer. Celtics shooting just 36% from the field. Meanwhile, the Mavericks have hit 10 of 15. Irving a three-pointer. Got it! Kyrie Irving from way downtown. Tatum tries another three. And gets a nice soft bounce. And now it's Jason Kidd's time.